Good morning. We got a lot going on here. I haven't done a reading for a while. So, I was impelled to do one today. And we we're going to go ahead and get started. I feel like it's going to be a long one. So, um, whatever you need to do. You can just play this in the background if you don't want to look at the cards. So, I was drawn to these crystals. I am so drawn to my angels right now. This is an amethyst and amethyst helps with connection. It helps with insight. It helps connect with your inner being of who you truly are, connecting with your angels. Even when we feel stubborn thinking that we don't need to, we absolutely do like as much as we can right now. Um, this is black tourmaline tourmaline however you want to pronounce it and it is for protection purposes um i feel like as a collective there are a lot of things going on a lot of transitions a lot of confusion a lot of where do i go from here and do we even feel safe making these decisions it's like there is a sense of um feeling alone and not necessarily rejected, but just feeling like you're doing this alone and feeling like there's nobody there for you. But the thing is, is that there is somebody there for you. There are lots of people there for you. They're just not here in this realm. So this is like a calling to um, dig deeper for your inner peace dig deeper for your inner knowledge because you have it you absolutely have it and this reading i am thinking this reading is going to enlighten a little bit and i i just feel a lot of stubborn energy right now a lot of stubborn energy of i i already know i already know i already know i already know no you kind of don't you you have to, you might have an idea, but you need to connect with your angels. And it's almost like a sense of, um, I'm not going to say self-entitlement, but just a sense of, I know better more than anything and anyone. And that might be true when it comes to outside sources, but it's not true when it comes to your angels. Your angels don't know more than you do. So connect with them and pay attention to what they're telling you, especially when it comes to connection, because we have some deceptive people in our lives that really want to make it seem like they're good for us, but really they have their own agenda. Okay, let's see where we are going with these cards today. I'm, I set them up to how I want to read them. I want to do tarot first. Only because tarot is always an eye opener <laughs> and it's almost, it usually is about, at least for me, it is so much more to the point than Oracle cards. Oracle cards to me just kind of accentuate and tell you, you know, kind of in a nice way where you need to go, where you need to take your path, you know, that, this, that, and the other. But when it comes to tarot, they tell you what the root of the problem is or not even necessarily the root of a problem per se, but just, just the main thing that you are inquiring about. So, you know, no, well, you know what I mean? So it, it's the, it's the main, it's the subject of the matter. There we go. So we're going to go with already five of pentacles okay nine of cups in reverse already losses here um three of swords uh eight of wands in reverse knave of cups in reverse okay so let's go ahead and put these Okay, so what I am getting off of these cards is a feeling or a sense of loss. Um, 
this doesn't have to be like in a direct, um, like the direct meaning, um, loss of control, um, thinking that we know better when we don't, um, not wanting to take direction. I can see that if we don't take direct direction of where we need to, this loss is going to be even worse. Tapping in. I really feel like a lot of people are tapping in to what they think they know. And they are being... I keep... They're overly confident with their own self-reliance. That they are not asking questions or depending on their angels like they need to. And this is the repercussion of that. You might be getting a false sense of security right now. And really there's a lot more growth that needs to go on in order to get to where you want to go. It doesn't mean that you can't get where you need to go. It doesn't mean you're going to lose everything. But just know that there are so many other possibilities and you might be cheating yourself by taking the easy route. The easy route is not always the best route. Sometimes you have to put yourself through things so you can, and I'm not saying this in like a dramatic way or anything, but sometimes you have to go through things in order to learn from them because you are here to learn. And if you're about to go through some kind of hardship here, it is because it is a lesson for your greater good and you can't fight it. You know, you have some kind of difficulty going on, but it is, I'm sorry for the interruption. My husband just now came home and brought me a plant. <laughs> so I am now incorporating this plant as a growth in this reading. So we are going to get some growth here. Okay. Um, plants are so awesome. This is a pothos. I love pothos. I'm so glad that he brought me that. And so, okay. Anyway, back to what I was saying about, you know, this is going to be like a sense of loss. Um, it could be a sense of loss of material things. It could be a sense of loss of knowing that you're not in control. Um, that can make a person... Uh, feel lost, um, confusion, lots of confusion of saying to yourself, you know what, things feel good though. They feel right, but there's something that's just not right about it. Like on the surface, it looks right, but on the inside, there's a little tinge telling you that something is not right. You need to pay attention to that little tinge and pay attention to connecting with your angels connect with those connect with your angels and pay attention to what your angels are telling you because they might tell you what you don't want to hear but you have to pay attention so that way you can grow you can grow i think he brought that in right at the right at the right time you want to talk about like divine timing I really believe in divine timing and it wasn't an accident that he brought those in at that moment in time. So we're going to move on to these cards and take a little bit of a deeper look. So, all right, these are my spirit animal cards. Okay. So the deer trust approach the situation with a light heart. Don't be so hard on yourself. You don't know everything. You don't know everything, but just, you know, approach it with a light heart and be open to the lessons that you're going to learn. Sometimes we try to avoid lessons because we know it's going to be hard, but this is not the time to do that. You are the light. Exactly what I was saying within the tarot cards, you know, um... It is safe to fully step or it is safe to step fully into your light. 
You are the light with your angels. You're not the light without your angels. Your angels, I'm going to put that right here. Your angels are protecting you from outside sources. You should not be connecting too hard with outside sources. Everything that you can do, you can do by yourself. You don't have to have a person with you in doing it. Um, you're a light in your own entity that you can do it on your own with your angels. Sur <laughs> Surrender. Let go of limiting beliefs. Be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is. Your soul knows things that you're not paying attention to. You feel that twinge. You can't tell where it's coming from. You don't know who it's coming from. But if you... And the thing is, is that you're kind of afraid to realize who. Because right now, everybody in your world is probably who you would consider to be trustworthy. And so not only is this um, an eye-opener for who they are, Honestly, it's also an eye opener that you are blinding yourself from growth and you don't, you know, you, in a sense, you are, um, being deceptive to yourself by not seeing what's going on outside of yourself. So, and it's usually the people that are right in front of your face every day. The people who are usually right in front of your face every single day, making sure that they're present, making sure that you're paying attention to them, making sure that you're soaking in some kind of, uh, or not you're soaking in, that they are soaking in some of your energy at some point in time. And they will be a chameleon as to what do they need to be for you to... Um, give them the energy that they are seeking. They only give enough to you that they know that you're going to give back three times more than what you receive. So it's like, do they need to pique your interest or give you a drop of water in order for you to turn into a waterfall for them? They have their own agenda as to how they can pull from your energy. So those are that so we'll go into the energy cards well that's a good sign hostilities will come to an end so if anybody's holding any kind of hostilities or even if you're holding some kind of hostility towards something or somebody the healing begins but just keep in mind that the healing begins with you you know if it's your own hostilities for something else and you need to let go ah I don't need to let go of the phone. Sorry about that. Um, if you need to let go of something of the past, if you're healing from something of the past, this is coming to a head to where you're going to see and feel some relief. But once again, you know, you got to connect with those angels. I, I don't, I keep getting that message. Connect with your angels, connect with your angels, connect with your angels, connect with your angels. They are right there. They want to help you. <laughs> they want to help you. Call in Archangel Raphael to heal from these hostilities that you could possibly be carrying. The old habits, the old, um, the old way of thinking are you falling into the same thing as before? Are you falling into um, an old pattern, but you think it's different this time? It's not. In the long run, it won't be. So call into Archangel Raphael and ask for healing. Green light of healing um, it's simply just even thinking about it, you know, 
I'm actually a crystals person. I do love crystals. I did not used to be that way until I touched the crystal that changed my life. And then it changed my whole view on it. You actually don't need crystals. You don't need sage. You don't need Palo Santo. You don't need anything to draw in your angels except for you. All the rest of it, it's like an enhancement. I actually look at it as gifts of appreciation of knowing that they're there. They do, for me, they do enhance, but I do not con I do not rely on it exclusively. I know that the, the main part of it comes from my own heart and my own soul. So even if you don't get any kind of divination tools and you don't use crystals and you don't use this and you don't use that, you don't have to. All you have to do is quiet yourself and call within yourself and they are there. They're not expensive. They're not material. Just go outside and put your feet in the grass and call to your angels and connect with them. And also, you know, uh, Archangel Raphael will heal not just physical ailments, but also mental ones. If you're going through anything that is mental, it is, you know, like depression, PTSD, anxiety, uh, dissociative disorder. A lot of us has... A lot of us that have gone through trauma has dissociative disorder, which is we compartmentalize everything. And sometimes that can make us immune to things that are really going on and we don't want to see it because we, we compartmentalize it, you know, like we, we separate it and we um, dissect it into different things instead of seeing it as a whole. So, you know, it, it's calling in Archangel Raphael to, to help you heal whatever it is that you need to heal. Rethink your strategy. Rethink your strategy. Do you have a strategy? Do you have a plan for growth? Do you have, you know, where, what is it that you want to achieve and start coming up with a plan for that? Like, what do you think? Call into your angels. What do you need? What do you need for a strategy? What do you need to heal yourself? What do you need to make your life better? And you might come up with, it, it might be hard. It's going to be a hard path, but don't be afraid of that path because your angels are going to be with you. They are not going to lead you the wrong way. The strategy that you need to come up with is not the one that you're on now. You need to open up your mind and this is a specific message. It could be for one or all of you. You need to rethink on doing things more on your own. Absolutely on your own. Like, no teamwork, no, you don't need teamwork. This is absolutely on your own. Rethink your strategy. You think that you're, I know that some people, they look at teamwork like, well, at least I'm going through it with somebody. This is not something that you need to go through with somebody. And being alone is scary to some people. This is something that you have to go through alone where you know yourself and you're getting to know your true self and the thing is is that you're not alone you have your angels and you have your protection you don't need to reach out to anybody right now in order for you to get your goals your goals you know you need to build the confidence to to go for your own goals by yourself you don't need a safety net. You don't need to lean on somebody else to feel validated. You have your own light and you have your own gifts. That could be you and that could be somebody else who's trying to control you and hold you back. They're feeding off of your energy or you are just not having enough um, confidence within your own powers, your own self. You're holding yourself back. 
things might be doing okay for you. They might be on a positive light right now, but you're holding yourself back from something even bigger. And yes, you deserve something bigger. You deserve to grow. You deserve to go forward. But you, you need to rely and have confidence within yourself in order to go forward. You don't need somebody to approve what you're doing. I keep hearing that message too. You don't need somebody to approve what you're doing. You can go forward with this, but you know what's going to what it's going to take? It's going to take you putting work into it, having confidence in yourself, putting yourself out there, putting yourself out there and saying, "Hey, you know what? I'm kind of great, so I want to share myself with you." And I need to share myself with you. And if it doesn't resonate with you, you can fall the fuck back. It's all good. Because I'm going to resonate with somebody. So it's just a, um, it's just the feeling of stop holding yourself back. Have confidence in yourself because you have something that the world needs. You have something that people need. You have messages that people need. You have insight that people need without draining you of you just giving it. It kind of feels like that, doesn't it? The sun. We can turn this around, though. This just is a card of showing, you know, the sun reversed. It's showing confusion. It's showing, do we even really know what we want to do? Are we doing it the right way? This is a card for you can turn this around and you absolutely can. You absolutely can. You can turn it around. But you are, right now, you're shooting yourself in the foot. It may feel like you're doing something positive. But really, you're shooting yourself in the foot. And I think it has a lot to do with this. Somebody is your block. It might even be yourself. Or a combination of the two. So, let's move on from that. A lot of these are kind of repeat messages. But right now, there's a lot of stubborn energy going on. <laughs> So don't we need repeat messages? Okay, it's a side card. Create your own space. You are the creator to your own reality. Create your own space. Your own. Which means what? Your own. And only you can give it to yourself. Only you can give it to yourself. Soul love. You have to have that self love and forgiveness. Self love. You know, um, soul love can also be about you connecting with your higher power. Connecting with your higher power and. All right. And connecting with your creator, with your angels. Because they know better than any person here. Are you. Are you putting. More of a, uh, oh man, somebody, okay, I don't know who it is, but somebody's going to be watching this. Somebody is putting too much light into another person. Yep. Somebody is putting too much light into another person and they're not getting enough back in return. Like, is there a person who, when you do what they want you to do, they give you so much praise. But if you go by yourself and you do things for yourself, you can feel them pulling back. That's manipulation. Like, for example... If you, let's say my neighbor, let's say my, let's say my neighbor has a yard that has no growth on it at all, but she's, she puts the work in, but she's constantly 
comparing her yard to mine. She doesn't tell me anything, though. And let's say that all I have to do is go outside and stand in my grass and it grows and grows and grows and grows. She might look at me and give me a, hey, yeah, that's great. She's given me encouragement of, and she's given me compliments of, yeah, that's great. But it's the way that she says it that you can just tell that it's not genuine. Now, in order for her to feel good, I have to cut off squares of my grass to give to her. And then all of a sudden, she is pouring love into me of, oh my gosh, you're the best thing ever. And da 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 Stop doing that. You don't have to do that. If she's going to be happy for my grass growing, then that's what she needs to do. And realize that we have different ways of growing grass. She's still growing grass. But she wants mine. But it's not going to come to her that way because that's not how it's going to be naturally done. She has to tap into her own natural abilities and stop trying to shadow mine and stop being a fake um, encourage, encourager, you know, that, that fake stuff. So that's what I'm pulling from this. Connecting with your creator, create, you know, creating and connecting with your source of your divine source, your God, your higher power, whatever you want to call it. Soul love. Connecting with who you truly are and creating your own space. Do it on your own. Connect with your angels. I'm going to keep telling you that. Connect with your angels. Let them protect you. Let them protect you, but you have to call upon it. They're not going to... Your angels can only step in if it is divine intervention. If they know that you're going to live through something, sometimes you're making your path harder without calling them in for their help. So these are my wild medicine herbal deck. Now this teaches me about herbs and stuff like that, but I pull them and then I look at the meanings and see how the meanings go along with what I am doing. And at the same time, I learn herbal stuff. So this one is a black cohosh and I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, but you can research on it. This is basically about um, now the technical sense is, you know, you can use it in early pregnancy as a, you know, abortion or expelling a miscarriage. But to me, this, how this fits in to this reading is you can expel whatever it is that you feel is blocking you. You can expel whatever it is that is stopping you from growing. You can expel whatever it is that you want to, to expel in order to get further along on your path. And I also pulled the willow. That makes a lot of sense. So you may feel scorned or you may feel rejected. You may be, you know, you may be having a disconnect from your angels. Just keep in mind that everything is not easy. Everything that seems easy, you know, if you want something so bad, if you're getting love from a person that you want love from, and if your angels say, hey, this isn't the person that you need to be getting love from, 
you need to be getting it from yourself. You're kind of going to, you're kind of going to get mad. Yeah, I said kind of going to. You're kind of going to get mad at the messenger. And you're not going to want to listen to them and say, hey, angels, this can't be right. Because I'm re receiving the love that I want to feel. And your angels are saying, no, you're not. Because you're not receiving it from yourself. And that's where it all begins. So expel what you need to expel. You may be feeling the rejection because you're going to stop acting the way that they want you to act. And in turn, what are they going to do? They're going to be mad at you for healing and growing. And their true colors are going to come out. It's for you to pay attention to. Their true colors will come out. If anybody comes to mind, take a break from them for a minute and see what, and, and explain to them, hey, I'm going to take a break from you for a minute and I'm going to take a break from everybody. And you know what? I'm actually going to do that myself. I'm going to be taking a break from everybody here soon. I already got my trip planned. So, you know, just to do some insight. But, you know, it's, it's about, uh, Look at how they react. They're either going to say, hey, go for it. Or they're going to be like, what? What are you going to do that for? Everything's great. Why? Why? So pay attention to who encourages you on um, like a real, on the real level. And those that are just using you to keep, they want to keep control of you and you're letting them. So that's the message that I have for today. <sighs> You're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. It will be okay. Just listen to your divine. Listen to your angels. I can't, I can't, I just can't say it enough. Listen to your angels. They are there for you. They want to be there for you. And you need to allow them to be there for you. You're not going to like their messages all the time. But they're looking out for you more than anybody is. And it's about time. I almost said damn time. It's almost. Uh, hurrah. It's time that you know that and pull your head out. And you know what I mean. Protect yourself. Mirror shields. I highly recommend mirror shields. Mirror shields are life. And anybody in your life that feels something from your mirror shields, those are the people that you are needing to get rid of. So, there you go. Have a great one. I'm sending you love, light, and protection. And lots of growth. I'm going to go put this baby in my window. And I will talk to you guys soon.